The class of cholesterol-lowering medications called statins are incredibly effective at preventing cardiovascular disease such as heart attacks and strokes. Yet many people are afraid of taking these medications for fear of side effects. One of the most common side effects is muscle pain. But how common are statin-associated muscle symptoms, and do statins really cause muscle pain? Let's look at what some of the newest clinical trials say about this controversial topic. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Pang here. My goal is to help each and every one of you live an active and healthy lifestyle. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel. Doctors commonly advise patients to take statins to help lower cholesterol and triglycerides. And that's because we know people who have elevated lipid profiles have much higher risk for cardiovascular disease, specifically heart attacks and strokes. And one of the best classes of medications to help improve a person's lipid profile is statins. These include atorvastatin, which has a brand name of Lipitor, and rosuvastatin, which has a brand name of Crestor. These medications are incredibly effective at preventing cardiovascular disease. They have quickly become one of the most widely prescribed medications because of their life-altering effects. But a quick online search about the side effects of statins give many people pause. There are many terrifying stories about statin-induced myopathy or statin-induced rhabdomyolysis, both of which are painful and debilitating muscle conditions. Then there are countless other people who share anecdotes about getting diffuse muscle aches after starting their statin medication. These stories can be enough to scare many people away from a potentially life-altering medication. But are these reports true? Are statins really associated with worsening muscle symptoms or have initial reports been overstated? This is a systematic review and meta-analysis published very recently to answer this question. They aggregated data from 19 placebo-controlled trials with a total of over 150,000 participants. First off, that is an incredible amount of people, and when we get this much data, the results are likely going to give us our answer. The authors found that during the first year of starting a statin, only 1 in 15 of muscle-related reports by participants allocated to statin therapy were actually due to the statin. After that first year, there was no significant excess in first reports of muscle pain or weakness. They did find that the highest doses of statins led to slightly excess risk of muscle symptoms when compared to lower doses of statins and placebo. There was also no evidence that different types of statins affected the risk of developing muscle symptoms. The authors went on to conclude that statin therapy caused a small excess of mostly mild muscle pain. Over 90% of all all reports of muscle symptoms by participants allocated to statin therapy were not due to the statin. They go on to conclude that the small risks of muscle symptoms are much lower than the known cardiovascular benefits of statins. So what are my thoughts on this topic? First, it really seems like the risk of developing muscle symptoms are much lower than previously reported. We know statins are incredibly effective at improving cardiovascular outcomes and decreasing mortality. Bottom line, if you have risk factors for atherosclerotic disease, statins will more than likely extend your life. If you have a genetic predisposition to higher cholesterol and triglycerides, statins will more than likely extend your life. More and more data are coming out showing that statin-associated muscle symptoms are much less common than previously reported. There was another study published last year which took 200 people who previously had muscle aches thought to be caused by statins. The researchers randomized these people, all of whom had muscle symptoms when taking a statin, to either go back on a statin or to take a placebo. Presumably, everyone who got randomized to the statin group would end up getting muscle aches again, but it turns out there were no differences in the number of people who ended up getting muscle aches when taking a statin or a placebo. So it really seems like statins are incredibly safe and we need to try our best to dispel the misconception that statins will cause muscle pain. More than likely, muscle pain is caused by something else and we really need to focus on diagnosing and treating those other conditions. In my experience, chronic muscular pain is caused by underlying myofascial trigger points. That's why 
if you have persistent muscle pain, you need to watch this video next where I help you find and diagnose your trigger points.